Hey guys, it's Bang for About PC Gamer here. In December 2015, I did a comparison between my GTX 980 Ti and my Sapphire AMD R93 Nitro 8GB graphics card. Now, before anyone jumps in the comment section and says you should be comparing the GTX 980 Ti to the Fury X, yes, we all know that this is not a fair fight, but that's got nothing to do with the video. This is literally just a comparison and just an observation, really. Um, because there GTX 980 Ti is basically double the price of the AMD R9 390. So I want to demonstrate just how much more um, of a difference there is in performance and is it really worth paying all that extra money. So what I'm going to do now is uh, jump into the comparison. And this time I'll be doing a resolution of 2560 by 1440 on all the tests. And I'll just show you the system specifications and I'll run a few games and we can see just how much of a difference there is for paying all that extra money. So looking at the system settings, I'm obviously using the AMD R9390 Nitro. Um, this one's running at stock settings at 1040 MHz on the core and 1500 MHz on the memory. Now I'm using the Crimson Drivers 16.1, which are the latest drivers available today. Intel i7-5930K at 4.5 GHz 32GB of DDR4 running at 2666MHz and I'm using the MSI X99A Gaming 7. So looking at the Nvidia side of things, I'm using the GTX 980 Ti reference card. Currently using drivers 361.75 which are the latest and I'm also running this card at stock settings. So that's 1000 MHz on the core and 1753 MHz on the memory. And obviously the processor and the memory are all the same. Anyway, the time for talking is over. I'm just going to run a few games and we can have a look just how much performance difference there is between the two cards.
So that about wraps it up for my comparison between the AMD R9 390 Nitro 8GB versus the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980 Ti reference design. On average, um, between the games I've tested, I would say the GTX 980 Ti is around about between 17 frames to 25 frames per second, on average faster than the AMD R9 390. But does that warrant the cost to be almost double? I don't think it does. Uh, but unfortunately that's just the nature of PC hardware and um, you can't go wrong with the AMD R9 390 Nitro and um, gives a solid performance over 1080p and 1440p gaming and obviously remains considerably cooler than the GTX 980 Ti so if you did have £500 plus to spend then you, you may want to consider buying two R9 390s which would definitely outperform my single GTX 980 Ti. Anyway guys, um, that's pretty much it for my comparison. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.